Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Alyssa Donovan. Aaron has the night off. A tragic, a tragic night in Reardon. The Washington State Patrol says an impaired driver is to blame for two deaths on Highway 2. KXLY's Allie Norton working for you tonight with details on that fatal crash. Gary Grubb was booked into the Spokane County Jail on two counts of vehicular homicide as well as DUI from last night's incident. The remnants of that crash still here today on Highway 2. The vegetation on the side of State Route 2 is brushed with orange paint. They're the markings that investigators went over for more than five hours, piecing together the crash that killed both 80-year-old Viola Harrison and 63-year-old Shirley Watkins and injured 71-year-old Jerry Watkins. The three were in a car together heading toward Reardon. Meanwhile, Gary Groves was heading east. The Washington State Patrol says that Groves drifted off the road, then overcorrected, which sent him into the westbound lane right into their car. It landed here on the side of the road. Pieces from their Hyundai Elantra nuzzled in the brush. WSP says Groves was driving under the influence. And according to Idaho court documents, this isn't his first DUI. The Nampa man had a DUI in 1997 that was lower to reckless driving. Court documents revealed that since then, he's had over a dozen more driving related violations. Now he's seeing three more. Nothing compared to the damage he did to the family and friends of those victims. Grove will likely make his first appearance in court tomorrow on those charges and vehicular homicide is a class A felony. That means that he could serve life in prison. Reporting near Reardon, I'm Allie Norton, KXLY4 News.